This is a very interesting problem I have taken again from Irodo. It helps us in clarifying some more concepts. Here in this system, this is a switch and this point 1, point 2. One single capacitance, these are two batteries, EMF E1, E2. I shift the switch from this place to this place, means from 1, it goes to 2. Initially, it is connected like this. This is open and finally it is connected. This is open and it is connected like this. So I have to find out when this changes from 1 to 2, how much heat is lost or generated in the system. So first of all, please recall that standard formula method of solving such problems. There is a system of capacitance and there is a system of battery. And uh, as usual, left hand side and right hand side we should write for the energies. Now capacitance system had some initial energy and it will have some final energy. There will be other things also, I'll write that. Energy ha uh, battery has some initial energy and some final energy is there. What are the other things? Whatever goes into the system is on the left hand side and whatever goes out of the system is on right hand side. So here the capacitance, what is going? I can give heat, suppose heat is in. I can give work, suppose work is in. What can go out? I can do some work by capacitance and I can do, give some heat out. Similarly for battery, battery generally we don't give and take heat from the battery. Battery does only one thing that is supply the charge and in supplying the charge suppose the charge flows from this is the battery and this negative and positive if charge flow is in this direction plus charge flows in this direction v is the voltage of battery the work done by battery is taken as vq so this is the only thing for battery so initial energy of the battery would be equal to final energy of the battery plus work given out because battery had some initial energy i do some work my fine energy goes down. So initial energy is equal to final energy plus work done by battery. So for my battery, I know this is the relationship and for capacitor, this can be the relationship. We have to use these relationships. Now for the capacitor, I'm not supplying any, I'm not heating it. So no heat is being given in the system. I'm also not doing any work. I'm not moving the plates. No work is doing being done by the capacitor. So the equation of capacitor remains like this. And now let me redraw it. Capacitor is maybe giving heat out, is not getting any heat inside, but work is being done on the capacitor, which is the work done by the battery. So this WB of the battery is basically going here. When I take the capacitance system, so I can write equation for capacitance as initial energy of the capacitor plus the work done by battery will be equal to final energy of the capacitor plus heat generated in the system. So use this equation always for solving such kind of problems. And if the question is how much energy has been lost by battery, so energy lost by the battery is U final minus U initial of battery will be equal to work done by battery, only this much. So, but this is generally not asked work done by battery you should find out simply by multiplying voltage with the charge which has flown from negative to positive charge should flow from like this A plus charge should flow from negative to positive and v is the voltage then the work done by battery is vq and this is the main equation we'll be using let me write here at the bottom wi plus wb is equal to uf sorry ui plus the given uh, work done by battery is equal to U final plus heat. This is energy of the capacitance system. Let me write like this. Now solve this. We should just, it's very easy. Just find the charges. It's a very simple kind of equation. When the this switch is open, so what you have is two EMF and let the charge coming here be Q. Plus Q air minus Q will come here. So we have Q is equal to C times E1 plus E2. And if the batteries are inverted, let me put the batteries like this. 
then you will write e1 minus e2 and suppose I have taken e1 greater than e2. Here the batteries are in inverted in the problem. These are like this opposite. So Q has to be written as C E1 minus E2. So that you should keep in very carefully see the signs. It is negative positive, negative positive. But when you look at this loop, these are opposing. And I have taken E1 as greater than E2. So that is why I have written the equation like this. So this is very simple. I got the value of Q as C E1 minus E2. Now in the second system, when the switch is changed here, let the charges appearing be Q dash and minus Q dash. The charges will change. And the charges which now are appearing is Q dash. So Q dash will be equal to E1 into C. E1 into C is the charge which is appearing on this capacitor now. The other thing has been opened. What was the charge initially here on this side of the battery? the work done by this battery we have to find out so we should know what is the charge which has flown through the battery in the initial position the charge here was q and now the charge coming on this side is q dash q dash as we can see is greater than q here because of this relationship you can make out so higher charge is there on the other side of the battery so difference in charge which has flown through the batteries Q dash minus Q. The charge which has flown through the battery is Q dash minus Q. So work done by battery is E1 by this battery I'm saying is equal to Q dash minus Q. And Q dash minus Q will be E1C minus E1C plus E2C. So it is these getting cancelled so E1 E2 C is the work done by the battery this is one part we have got and the other work done by this battery battery 1 what is the work done by this battery there was some charge if I redraw the original diagram of these batteries like this this is E1 this is E2 and that is how the situation was this was the capacitor this was open and the circuit was like this initially and there was minus Q charge here on this battery the charge on this side was minus Q on this side of the battery when I change the switch from here to here what has changed nothing has changed on that side it remains as it is charge has not flown through this battery because this battery doesn't is just taken out of the circuit so because of the change in position no charge is flowing through this this is just cut off so until unless this loop is complete only then charge would have flown so no charge has passed through that battery by once it is changed i am talking about the change in situation one to two otherwise charge has passed initially when the switch was initially opened but we are talking change in one and two so change in one and two no charge actually has flown through this battery because it is just opened so the work done total work done by battery is this much now what is the initial energy of the capacitor system u initial for capacitor is half q square upon c and the final energy of the capacitor is 1 upon 2 q dash square upon c this is the final energy of the capacitor and let us put the value here what was the value of q is this and q dash is e1c so now write in this formula half q square is c square e minus e1 minus e2 whole square upon twice c this is twice C is this energy initial energy and the work done by battery is E1 E2 C is the work done by battery and is equal to final energy of the system will be this much 1 upon 2 and what is the value of Q dash is 
e1 c square e1 square and divide by c this divide by c so this is the final energy and plus heat now solve this equation you bring this on this side it becomes 1 upon 2 and c is common for both so it is e1 square plus e2 square minus twice e1 e2 minus e1 square when i take it on this side is this plus e1 e2 c is equal to q this becomes this gets cancelled so it becomes c e2 square upon 2 minus c e1 e2 plus c e1 e2 is equal to q this gets cancelled so the heat generated is c upon 2 e2 whole square e2 square so just see the interesting thing the heat generated is independent of this heat gen in heat generated equation the battery one doesn't count at all so this is the interesting result which we have got by following the proper and full method